Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Phil Phillips. I serve as a Chief Operating Officer, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to Pepperdine Honors 2020. You know, this year, more than ever, the truth that we often assert resounds and reverberates that it is our people, our students, faculty, and staff, blessed by God, who make Pepperdine what it is. To the extent that there is some goodness to be seen in this pandemic, it is your virtue, your determination, your resolve, which are on display in abundant measure day after day. Adversity often reveals true character. During this time, you have shown strength, adaptability, creativity, and care, also that our students can learn, thrive, and become the world changing people God created them to be. Faculty and staff alike, you have humbled us in the way that you have responded. Think of our faculty, those directly teaching our students who had to completely reinvent what they do to ensure we continue to deliver excellence. Or staff and departments across the university relentlessly planning for an endless number of scenarios that change continually. So today, we say thank you. Thank you to our employees. We are grateful and appreciative, more than we can adequately express. We admire you, are inspired by you, and care about you more than you know. This event today is but one way we wish to celebrate you all. We will specially recognize those with significant milestone anniversaries, as well as send our retiring colleagues into their new chapters with honor and blessing. And now it is my pleasure to introduce Dr. Tama Bryant Davis, Professor of Psychology and the Director of the Culture and Trauma Research Lab, who will offer a prayer for our time together. Thank you so much. Praise the Lord. Will you pray with me? Almighty God, we give you glory and honor and praise. We worship you and we adore you. We say hallelujah, hallelujah. You are the great I am. You are our alpha and omega, our beginning and our end. We thank you because you have been our provider, our good shepherd. You have been the way maker and our healer. We praise you for the ways in which you have restored us over the years. God, we come on today with thanksgiving in our hearts and on our lips. We give you praise for each employee of Pepperdine University. We thank you, God, for their labor has not been in vain. God, we give you glory for each one who is experiencing and celebrating a work anniversary. We pray blessings over those who are entering retirement. And now, Lord, we bring before you every faculty person, every staff person, and we pray, God, that you would cover them from the top of their heads to the soles of their feet. We pray that you would allow them to be restored and refreshed and renewed. God, we pray that you would bless their going in and their coming out, that you would bless the work of their hands, that you would bring blessings on their children and their families. Lord, we cover their health and their well-being for all they have poured out for our university. Lord, pour into them, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. Lord, we bless you for the plans and purpose you have for their lives. And we pray, Lord, that they would be renewed. Hallelujah. Their very strength and their bodies, their hearts, their minds, and their spirits would be revived by your glory. Lord, even now, we pray that your presence would fill the place, that we would be so clear of how you walk with us and talk with us, how you abide in us. And so we give you praise. We give you thanksgiving. Our hearts are full of gratitude for each of our employees. And so, Lord, continue to get the glory out of their lives. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you.
Hello, my name is Lauren Cosentino, and I have the pleasure of serving Pepperdine as Vice President for Human Resources and Campus Operations. Each fall, I look forward to receiving our list of honorees with anticipation. These are employees who are being recognized for their milestone anniversaries of 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, and even 50 years of service. It is no surprise that this year's honorees are impressive. The depth and breadth of what they have accomplished for our students and this university is staggering. Our incredible list includes one 50-year honoree, two 45-year honorees, and six 40-year honorees and employees from each department and school and division at the university. It takes each of you, your knowledge and enthusiasm and hard work to make this place the special place that it is. We're blessed to call you a part of our community. Although we are not together as we normally are, we can and will still celebrate our colleagues and these important anniversaries. As you begin to see on the screen the names of colleagues whose hard work or camaraderie has had an impact on you at your time at Pepperdine, please take a moment to reach out to them and congratulate them on this special honor. Thank you, dear colleagues. We are grateful to you and for all you do for Pepperdine. Congratulations.
Congratulations to all honorees celebrating significant milestone anniversaries. And now we celebrate our colleagues who have reached another significant milestone in their careers and lives. Today we thank and honor those who are retiring after many years of service, friendship, and support to Pepperdine. On the occasion of retirement, it seems fitting to look back and reflect upon one's work that sometimes spans a lifetime. Work is not something to dread, endure, or escape. Rather, work is a blessing through which we find meaning and purpose, serve and create community. As we think of our retiring colleagues, we thank them for their work. As I reflect on our seven participating retiring colleagues, Stephen, Karen, Ed, Christine, Emily, Aaron, and Anita, I think of the good they brought to our community through their work and presence. While our friends and colleagues may no longer come to the workplace each day, they remain part of the Pepperdine community, and we hope they will continue to come back and participate in events on our campuses. At this time, we honor and recognize our colleagues for their faithful service, and we say thank you. Dr. Stephen Davis, you are a cherished colleague. You care deeply for young people in your classroom who follow you into the mountains that surround our campus. You are a world-renowned scientist who loves to share his life with students. You have changed the world. There are thousands who have been impacted by your example. You were their teacher. I see your faith, your love for God's creation, for life-giving ecosystems, and for people it is hard to imagine the Natural Science Division without Steve Davis. I will miss working daily with my mentor and friend, but I celebrate your legacy and I know you'll never be far from our mountains. I pray blessings for you and Janet. Jay Brewster. Mom, wow, what a ride these last 10 years have been with our Pepperdine family. From the first time on the Malibu campus as a potential wave to serving together in advancement in alumni affairs. It's hard for me to imagine you not at Pepperdine, but I hope you know how many you've impacted in your time here on staff and as a parent volunteer. Thank you for sharing your above and beyond spirit and for reminding us to always see the good. Once a wave, always a wave. I'm so proud of you and hope to beach walk together soon. Love to you from Texas, Angel A. Ed, working with you these last 25 years has been a great honor and privilege. Your 32 years of service working for mail services at the West LA campus was outstanding. Your dedication to work, always being there, and so helpful to the faculty, staff, and students of the West LA campus. Moreover, yes, there has been some great times and not so great times but you always seem to bear down and plow through it. I wish you joy and happiness. Th uh, congratulations to your retirement. God bless. Sincerely, Stan Jones. My acquaintance and collegial association with you goes back almost three decades. From the outset, it was obvious that you would become a valued member of our foreign language faculty a native speaker of German, with fluency in English, French, and Spanish as well. You are the consummate teacher, having a thorough knowledge of the subject matter, always brimming with enthusiasm, and always interested in the well-being and progress of each student. Your language abilities and your willingness to be flexible in teaching classes at all levels greatly enhance the International Studies and Languages Division. We express profound gratitude for your years of service. We will miss your collegiality, your humor, your zest for life, and your unwavering dedication to promoting lively, personal interaction in the language classroom, all without relying on technology. Christine Peterson, congratulations as you enter your retirement years. Dear Emily, congratulations on your retirement. Working alongside you for these past many years has truly been a pleasure. You have left an indelible mark on Pepperdine University through the creation of the social work program, 
which has not only changed the lives of our students, but also those they serve. Your impact has surely been far-reaching. Thank you for your talent, your dedication to our students, and especially your friendship. I wish you and your precious family all the best in this new chapter of your life, dear friend. Much love, Cindy. Aaron, your service to Pepperdine University has been exemplary. Complementing the high level of professionalism you've displayed was your ability to remain even keeled in a myriad of high stress situations. You were instrumental in establishing and enhancing the culture in the Department of Facility Services. It has been my great pleasure to serve alongside you. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. Forever grateful, James. Dear Anita, I want you to know how much I appreciate you and value you as a colleague. It is so apparent that your deep faith guides you and your love for Pepperdine shines through every day as you have dedicated yourself for the last 31 years to serving our university and the Grazadio School. Thousands of our students as well as all of your colleagues have been the beneficiaries of your caring service. I also thank you for the thoughtful little gifts you have given me and many of your colleagues over the years. Your kindness makes everyone feel special. You are extraordinarily special. May your retirement years be filled with happiness and many new, exciting, different experiences. Relax and enjoy. You deserve it. My best wishes to you always, Deborah. Congratulations to our illustrious colleagues on reaching this significant milestone. Every year we offer a toast to those retiring from Pepperdine University. It's a benediction, a farewell, a hope for the future, and a thank you for a job well done. This afternoon, my friends and colleagues, in recognition of the devotion and love you've given us, I'll read the traditional Irish blessing in your honor. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be ever at your back. May the sun shine warmly upon your face and the rain fall softly on your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the hollow of his hand. As we close our Pepperdine Honors program today, I want to emphasize what a privilege it is to serve such an esteemed, committed, exceptional, and hardworking staff. Without you, Pepperdine cannot reach its highest aspirations. Your role is absolutely central to our core identity. And among the many critically important aspirations we're pursuing, our aspiration of building a unified community of belonging is paramount. Pepperdine has always aspired to be a welcoming Christian community committed to radical hospitality. And to many, that's what we've been. We're also learning that, at times, we have not been that place to everyone. I know we can do better, and I know you want to also. But despite our mistakes and despite the ways we have fallen short of who we are and who we aspire to be, I am undeterred. And I refuse to be discouraged. In fact, I'm more resolute than ever. John Adams said, every problem is an opportunity in disguise. I see endless opportunities ahead of us. I'm acutely aware that we have set the bar high by seeking to create a true community of belonging. And at times, when I consider the current polarization and divisiveness in our country, one might question whether it's even possible. 
Then I remember that powerful truth, for nothing will be impossible with God, Luke 1, And so together we embrace God's faithfulness and his power to create what we cannot do alone. As St. Paul reminds us, if you have any encouragement from being united with Christ, if any comfort from his love, if any common sharing in the spirit, if any tenderness and compassion, then make my joy complete by being like-minded, having the same love, being one in spirit and of one mind. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourself, not looking to your own interests, but each of you to those interests of the others. Philippians 2, 1 through 4. Even with all of our challenges and imperfections, Pepperdine truly is a special community filled with compassion, conviction, and strength. We can do this if we do it together, inspired by God's word and empowered by God's spirit. May our merciful and loving God empower us to live fully into the community of belonging he created us to be.